the Frankel regulator. Um, the Frankel concept and the effect is a real outlier compared to conventional orthodontics. Very similar, reality, to orthotropics, where they're outliers from the general concept behind orthodontics. Um, the concept behind orthodontics is to apply a force to move a tooth and to make the teeth straight, whereas the Frankel concept is very different. <clears throat> The Frankel concept works by changing the balance of the soft tissues. So, we know within dentistry, within the whole dentistry generally, the teeth sit in a balance between the lips and the tongue, or we could say the lips and the cheeks and the tongue. And we're thinking it's more the posture of these soft tissues than it is the absolute um, strength of the soft tissues. I've seen a lot of studies where they say that the tongue is stronger than the lips. Well, wow, that may be true, but you aren't using that strength much of the time. So it doesn't have an appreciable effect. What's most important is how you rest these soft tissues, because that's where they are most of the time. And of course, time is the most dependent factor on influencing tooth position. Now, Frankel, knowing this, we <coughs> was working in um, Eastern Europe, when Europe was divided, Eastern Germany, under the Soviet regime. And he then followed a very different path, because his influences were different. And he used these plastic wire, these quite complex plastic wire braces, uh, that are difficult to use, and they're difficult to wear, which is possibly why they're not used very much uh, this day and age. We tend to be going further and further towards appliances that don't, that aren't very difficult. We're going towards treatments that aren't very difficult for the individual. Um, low compliance is a common used word, whereas the Frankel appliances, they're not low compliance. These are high compliance appliances, very similar to orthotropic appliances. <coughs> but the, the, the the concept is that you have these buccal shields and, of course, you have these labial shields that hold back the soft tissue. If you use these soft tissues, the buccal shields touch the skin and over time will irritate the skin and it becomes sore. My father was probably, I think he was the first Western orthodontist to go and visit Frankel. I'm probably the only orthodontist that can claim that Frankel babysat me. <clears throat> and my father went over to visit Frankel and spent some time in his office, you know, with a translator. Um, understanding the concept, meeting the patient, seeing Frankel work. And he'd been there some time and he would walk in in the mornings and there would be a row of patients waiting to be seen. And he would wave to them and he noticed that they'd never smile or sort of make any expression back. Until he worked out that, of course, you can't. When you're wearing a Frankel regulator, you can't make any facial expression. The whole point is that it becomes immobile, this section of the face. Because if you make facial expressions, and if you recruit the cheek muscles, or even the lip muscle, underneath these labial flanges, these labial shields, of course, the, the cheeks touch, and that stops you doing it. So it trains you. Because a lesson learned can be a lesson learned forever. Where if you do something for someone, like move their teeth for them, well, you have to hold them there forever. Well, that's quite apparent with permanent retention, where retainers forever. It's not a, you've not cured the underlying problem, you've made the teeth in a straight line. Whereas Frankel's trying to cure the underlying problem. He's trying to have a positive change and a learning change so that the effect lasts for a period of time. Um, as I say, very effective appliances, they really can get a huge amount of expansion in the dental arches, and yet without touching the teeth. Incredible, really. And a huge change. And I think that when we look at the MRC appliances, or these other aligner appliances, they're trying to um, use the frontal effect to get a very similar change within the dental arches. But um, it is on this level here. You're working on this level here. Frequently, it can have a bigger effect because it can stimulate knock-on changes, 
but generally you're still working in this range. You're not so much affecting the upswing or downswing pattern as described by craniofacial dystrophy. You're mainly working within the dento-alveolar, the dental and the bone around it area.